Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Brooks and I'm an immunologist. The skin microbiome is a whole collection, like a big ecosystem of live little microbes, so bacteria, fungi, little mites and viruses that are all harmless and they coat our entire body. Because our skin is our biggest organ and these little guys are covering us to keep us safe. As an immunologist, the microbiome is such an integral part of, of our general health and that is both from what we know a lot about the microbiome in our gut and that plays a huge role in the immune system and more recently is the microbiome of the skin. Our skin is such an important part of our first line of defence. So our immune system is just below our skin and so keeping an intact barrier is super important and that's where the microbiome that coats our bodies plays a massive role. So essentially it's where the good bacteria and all your little communities on your skin is being disrupted. So dysbiosis is, is often caused by things such as the external environmental factors, such as the sun is an obvious one, plus also chemicals that we wash our skin with, products that we put on our skin and all things like that. So we want to make sure that we're, the products that we're putting on our skin or the environment that we're getting exposed to is not going to upset the communities on our skin. Probiotics is, is one of those terms we've heard a lot about with our gut microbiome. So the probiotic are the live bacteria, generally speaking. So all the little microbes that live on the surface of our skin are what we sort of term the probiotics. So then the prebiotics is the term we use to describe the food that those species of, of organisms need to, to thrive. And then postbiotics is the term we give to the, the byproduct that microorganisms, such as the bacteria that live on our skin or in our gut, produce when they are being fed the right food. And those byproducts can be beneficial to us. So why would we want to use a postbiotic? Well essentially if you're adding a postbiotic to, a, to your skin surface, then you're going to promote more and more of that good bacteria and that healthy community so that your skin is really, really healthy.